sector in Sri Lanka plays a pivotal role in the country's economy, contributing close to half of the country's monthly exports. And despite the many challenges, both on the local as well as the global front, this industry has remained resilient. Despite the many challenges, Sri Lankan apparel and textile exporters have also reached beyond our shores, expanding their global footprint. Today we have with us Mr. Hasita Premaratna, Group Finance Director of Brandix Lanka, who is here to share with us a few insights into the industry and how he sees it evolving over the next couple of months. First off, thank you so much for being with us today. And to get right into the questions, on the global front, we're seeing inflation rising um, across many countries and we're seeing interest rates also being raised globally. In this, in this context, we're seeing several fears over possible recession in the next couple of months. How do you think the demand for apparel will be in this backdrop and do you see certain regions being affected more than the others and what are the segments that you're going to see most affected? Yes, yeah, so if you look at the current uh, global sentiment, we are clearly seeing a retail slowdown, particularly if you look at the US market and that, for that matter even in the Europe, uh, for the reasons you said and, and uh, naturally uh, with that slowdown there is a uh, drop in the apparel buys but that's not the only reason we also have a challenge because uh, some of the leading apparel or most of the leading apparel brands have over the last uh, few months have uh, built up inventory which means uh, they have uh, uh, stock in hand to sell and uh, that kind of creates a double whammy because on one side there is a drop in the uh, demand and the sale and on the other side they have inventory in hand which means uh, they, they have to cut down on the overall globe, uh, buy from buy from the new orders so this has been reflected across the globe not only in Sri Lanka it's not a problem of only Sri Lanka but it's more to do with the uh, uh, rest of the global supply chain which goes spans around uh, China Vietnam Bangladesh India etc uh, <clears throat> and this drop uh, in, in the in the overall numbers uh, will be seen at least I think for about six to nine months from the estimates we have today. So in that particular scenario we should see somewhat a recovery coming towards uh, in about six to nine months time and uh, hopefully with the economic conditions improving because we've seen some indications that it may not be a prolonged uh, issue but it will probably be uh, uh, getting back to stride uh, sooner than later which means obviously we can expect improvement on on apparel buy as well um, when it comes to the categories i think mostly the lower segment of the economy is, uh, is, is are the most impacted in this type of situation because the cash crunch is most felt by the lower end of the pyramid uh, so as a result the brands uh, which supply to the lower segment will have a larger hit as opposed to people who uh, supply to the middle and the upper segments uh, who will probably have a lesser hit but overall there will be a drop and there will be most of the categories uh, or, or these particular segments that will get mostly impacted and I think uh, if you take some of the lingerie and related segments the impact will be relatively lower compared to uh, uh, some of the outerwear segments. Do you see Sri Lanka being able to break away some of the demand that is being seen from Bangladesh and Vietnam, uh, possibly to, due to a few competitive advantages that we're having right now due to our skill level as well as the depreciation of the rupee? What kind of edge do you see for us in the context of uh, this entire global dynamic changing? The currency depreciation has made Sri Lanka more competitive when it comes to the production cost, uh, obviously in a dollar terms. Uh, but having said that, there are certain elements of inflation that has uh, skyrocketed in the last few months because of the imported inflation and also the other factors in the local economy. Uh, so we are clearly seeing uh, the cost on one side in rupee terms increasing, but on the other side, uh, the, the devaluation of the rupee has compensated that to a large extent and, and helped uh, Sri Lanka to stay relatively competitive. Uh, against the regional peers in one including uh, India, Bangladesh and Vietnam. Uh, so in that sense from a cost perspective I think we can expect that competitiveness to attract orders or if not attract at least to maintain the orders. What bottlenecks or challenges do you face in the industry at present and what do you foresee in the next 12 months or so? 
I think the local situation itself, what we are going through in Sri Lanka, is uh, a bit of a challenging uh, aspect because when the global brands look at its uh, risk mitigation strategies, uh, they, if they see that there is a tendency to have a disruption to the supply base, uh, then they tend to take uh, decisions uh, that may probably look at, uh, you know, de-risking the. Uh, capacity. So in that context, I think Sri Lanka has a challenge. But good news is, if you look at the last uh, few months, we have run as an industry, despite all the problems that were there, despite all the shortages that were there, uh, industry has operated fairly seamlessly, I must say, at least um, uh, maybe one or two days maximum have been uh, in a closure mode. But other than that, it has been fairly well operated and run. So brands know uh, that we have been able to continuously supply despite all the ground level challenges. And if you look at the export numbers, it speaks because uh, the export numbers for June, July have been on record highs uh, for apparel uh, when you compare to the past. So in that light, obviously, uh, we have demonstrated as an industry how resilient we are despite uh, the ground level challenges that are uh, ongoing. Uh, so with things hopefully improving in the coming months, that element of the risk uh, will uh, somewhat ease off. Uh, that's what we can see from the local front. Uh, global front, as I said, the demand related impact will continue to be a challenge uh, for, for at least another six to nine months. Uh, and um, in, in the context of where we are today as an industry, I think it will be very important to uh, stay resilient and ensure that we have a very good communication channel going with our customers just to ensure that uh, they know what's going on on ground, uh, not just the media uh, take the message across because uh, obviously once this is quite a bit of a difference between what's seen in the media and what's actually happening on ground so in that context it's important that the communication goes through uh, to, to make sure that the understanding is um, clear and uh, as we have been doing as an industry over the last maybe 30 40 years we've seen so many bumps so many ups and downs but we've come out uh, much stronger uh, after each of these challenges because it has been um, looked upon uh, as an industry which is uh, resilient do you see opportunities for growth locally or internationally for Sri Lankan apparel or textile manufacturers in the next couple of years? Yeah, I think it's important to get our fundamentals uh, in order. So for, for the people who bring the technology, uh, bring the productivity up, and as a result drive the cost efficiencies in particular and also look at the product uh, innovation and related solutions i think there is definitely potential to grow within the country uh, and not only that also outside the country as well because in this industry beyond a particular point once a company grows you need to have exposure uh, in different geographies otherwise uh, buyers will look at you as a co company which is only exposed in one geography so as a result the uh, when they try to mitigate the geographical risk spread, uh, obviously your order book will be curtailed. So the, to avoid that, most of the large organizations we've seen have moved out of the country and set up uh, manufacturing in different parts of the world, while of course we expand and keep our commitment in Sri Lanka. Uh, but what is important will be uh, to ensure that in both in the, in the country as well as internationally, we embrace the technology, change the way we operate and move with the industry and the market in a such a way that we won't get obsolete. Now, if you do that, there will be enough opportunities for growth. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Hasita. And thank you for watching. And please stay tuned for our next episode.